panda. Yeah. I got brides in Atlanta. <laughs> She's with the lean in the family. <laughs> Credit cards in the scammers. <laughs> Getting the licks in the band. <laughs> Legacy. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in the range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Bam Bam. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinthin, the rules are locked, man. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underweight. history inside these walls here at Newark, New Jersey. Good to have you with us live from the Prudential Center here tonight. I remember back in 2016, you, your boy Rumble Johnson had a big moment against Ryan Bader inside this one. I mean, Ryan Bader was so scared. He shot from halfway across the octagon, right. and Rumble beat him up. Oh! Good well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice body kick. Lands a big right hand early. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Head kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Okay. 
kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Punch over the top. And he, oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. into that leg kick. Huge block there. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice straight punch. A oh, big head kick land. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Knee to the body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 20 seconds left. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Fight behind your jab. Oh, nice jab. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent will take. Massive shot. They win. Great job. Just missed on that spinning attack. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just a slip there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lands with the knee to the bottom. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Just over three minutes to go. Right hand on point. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice head kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. Head kick attempt is blocked. Unable to land the head kick there. How good is that right hand? Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot. He's, he's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh! Able to check the high kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh! He's out! He got him! Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hopeful.